told you that you can talk, if you don't know what to do, go and bring your guns. Yes, some wiki. This is rather harsh, guys. You know, um, Nigerians have always stated that uh, <laughs> they, they are even happy that uh, Yes, some wiki didn't win the presidency. You know, he contested. He was, um, um, he was in the presidential race, but he didn't win the, the ticket of his party. The ticket went to Atiku Abubakar. And uh, this, the, the way he, um, his style of leadership, Nigerians feel that it's rather harsh. Being the uh, minister of the Federal Capital Territory, we've seen Ye Yesom Wiki coming out with uh, <laughs> a lot, doing a lot. Recently, we know um, he took over Julius Berger's land or the land allocated, the development allocated to Julius Berger. And he said they are not doing anything with it. He's just lying down there and um, he wants to decide what to do with it. Right now, he's saying that um, um, he's, he's referring, he's speaking to um, residents in Abuja that they should stop talking. Who told them that they can talk? <laughs> we're in democracy, yes, sir. We're in democracy and um, there is freedom of speech. People can talk. The same way you have right to speak. You know the way you speak to, to um, these politicians and even your, your colleagues within your party, within the PDP where you are, the crisis that is rocking your party currently. You have freedom to speak, so you can't sh uh, shush people. You can't stop people from speaking. Anyway, guys, this one is very interesting. It's coming from Yesom Wiki. And, uh, but what is most worrying here is that uh, if they don't know what to do, that they should go and bring their guns. Hmm. They should bring their guns from where? We'll bring you all of the details, guys. This one is really it's a serious matter. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. If it's your first time here, you're very welcome. Please click on the subscribe button. God bless you. Now into the details of the report. The Federal Capital Territory FCT Minister, Yesom Wike, continues to enforce a strict agenda of urban renewal and law enforcement in Abuja, making headlines once again. On Tuesday, the minister issued a stern warning to roadside beggars, instructing them to desist from the act or face the risk of arrest by enforcement agents. Wiki's comment came during the flag off ceremony for a new road construction project in the capital, further emphasizing his commitment to transforming the FCT. Begging on the streets of Abuja has become a growing concern affecting the image of the city and impending development efforts. Wiki's administration is determined to tackle this issue head on viewing it as part of his broader vision to clean up the capital. This directive is seen as part of a larger strategy to ensure that the FCT remains orderly and a beacon of modern development. Later in the day, Wiki shifted his focus to illegal structures in the Sabon Lugbe South District layout. During an unscheduled visit to the site, he ordered the immediate demolition of these structures, which he deemed to be the work of land grabbers. According to Wiki, these individuals had taken possession of land unlawfully, constructing without following the necessary legal processes. In a video shared by Arise News, Wiki can be seen confronting a group of land developers. The minister was uncompromising, refusing to entertain their explanations regarding ownership. His direct and firm tone left no room for negotiation as he accused them of acquiring the land through illegitimate means. Who told you that you can talk? If you don't know what to do, go and bring your guns. Wiki stated, signaling his intolerance for what he described as lawless actions. His tough approach underscores the message that illegal land acquisition and unauthorized development will not be tolerated under his watch. Wiki's action have sparked discussions about the future of development in Abuja and his no-nonsense approach to governance. With his firm stance against roadside begging and illegal land occupation, it is clear that the minister is focused on reshaping Abuja into a city governed by law and order, ensuring that all development adheres to proper regulation. Um, what, he's, what he has in mind, what Wiki has in mind and what he's trying to achieve, no one is against it because I believe everyone will want um, 
a place where there is orderliness. So the begging he talked about on, on the roadside, um, it's, it's something to be looked into. But my concern here is that you are saying these beggars should leave the road, but what provision have you made for them? If you make provision for them to leave the road, if there is some, um, some, something to cater for them, some sort of welfare, because this, um, our leader, sometimes when they travel abroad, they want to copy what is done abroad to them. They don't, when they go abroad, they don't see people begging on the streets, but they forget that um, um, the, the, the leaders in these um, developed countries, they have things in place. So if they are saying that you should not stand in the road to, to beg, they have, uh, they have welfare. They have things where, where they give these people. They have food bank. They have shelter where they keep people who are stranded. They have different ways of supporting people. I don't know what the one that Nigeria has put in place. So before he, you, he goes into he, this is harsh way, I think that's something um, he should look into. He wants to make Abuja um, look very uh, nice, very neat and all of that. Nigerians are stating that uh, make alternative, make provision for the, the alternative where, so if they leave the road where they would have their their, their daily bread, where they will eat from. But what's most surprising to me is stating to them that if they don't have anything to talk about, if they don't have anything to say, if they don't have anything to do, they should go and bring their guns. I don't know why he should be making such a remark, talking about guns. So they should bring guns to come and do what? Is that the kind of society that he wants, that um, guns will be all over the place? They should bring their guns. And I don't know what he's insinuating or what that statement means. That's uh, a little bit um, worrying. You know, Nigerians have perceived um, Yesom Wike to be someone who, um, some people term him as heartless. Some people term him as uh, a very um, hardened man, strong, and um, he's a no-nonsense man, no-nonsense governor. Remember his days as um, governor of River State and um, <laughs> how, how he handled the state. He doesn't want to hear. And even sometimes in that his River State, if another is coming from Abuja, he tells them that uh, he does not respond. He doesn't listen to Abuja. Nobody can come and control him from Abuja. Now he's in the Abuja and he's just displaying, um, it's just his personality of um, his style of leadership or his style of um, um, dealing with people. He went to people. He doesn't even want to hear anything. Don't say anything. Who told you that you can talk? This is really serious. Well, guys, let's hear your own take down below. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.